Hi guys, welcome back to our channel DevSec Hacker. So from today onwards, I'm starting a new playlist which is called as Bug Bounty Reports POC. So I will study few bug bounty reports. I will try to reproduce that vulnerable functionalities. I will develop vulnerable lab so that I can show you that vulnerable functionality and how we can exploit that uh, vulnerability within that functionality likewise so indirectly i'm uh, creating vulnerable lab based on the bug bounty reports so that i can explain you about that vulnerability more clearly so that is the agenda for this uh, playlist so for the first video uh, today i would like to discuss about uh, how we can take over the account using host header injection so let's quickly uh, see the what is the functionality first let's analyze the functionality so i'm quickly opening my burp suite okay and uh, i am running the vulnerable lab that i have created on localhost 3000 so and it is the browser okay let me show you the vulnerable lab here it is here it is uh, giving me login and forget password so today we will try to see this uh, forget password okay so uh, i'm entering an email someone at gmail.com okay so resetting okay this password reset template will go into victim email inbox okay for the sake of simplicity instead of uh, sending this uh, template to email inbox and opening from the email inbox i am directly showing you in this way i just skip that step so when when you are entering any email some uh, email will goes to your uh, inbox with the reset link that that is this flow okay let me see what happened in the back end so okay so when uh, when i'm clicking on reset password there is a post call is going on post with this uh, endpoint and here i have submitted this one okay this endpoint is being hit okay so when i'm clicking on this see in this reset link there is a reset token so when i click on this okay i can give my new password i can reset the password okay your password has been reset successfully okay so let me see that so when i click on that uh, link which is coming to my email inbox and there is a get call going on and after it will show the html that uh, reset password page like this okay and after that when i enter my new password it will send new password along with uh, this reset token so password will be updated okay this is the flow actually this is the vulnerable functionality now let's see how we can uh, exploit this functionality to take over the account how we can do that so let's do that let's exploit it quickly here i just want to uh, take over the account of some ram prasad email address so i will simply enter the victim email address okay uh, so simply click on reset password so if i enter victim email address the reset link will goes to his inbox right let's see this request okay post it is the request here i need to enter this one okay here if you observe they are sending this link to the end user 
with the host name if you see the request here is the host name and uh, it is being reflected here right let me confirm that by sending it to repeater i'm sending it this is the reset link so what if if i send uh, local host some zero one will it be reflected here so whatever the user input that i'm giving whatever the uh, payload that i am injecting into host header will it be reflect here let me see that local host one oh see whatever the input that i am injecting here in host header it is being reflected here so in this case what i can do for example instead of uh, giving the host name like this what if if i give my evil server which i am running uh, which i am controlling so that if i give a evil server address here so that uh, the reset link will be uh, tampered and it will replace this host with my evil address so that whenever the victim clicks on this reset link i will get this reset token right so once i get the reset token i can simply uh, change his password and i can utilize his account right let's try to do that in order to show you that i'm using the burp collaborator as a evil server so i am copying it here and i am pasting it here with http something or else no need of that okay let me send it here wow see here it is giving me the reset link so if you see here i'm trying to change his uh, password for example i want to change some uh, actually random e email address okay see here i'm getting the reset token actually what happens is uh, so whenever I am changing the source data like this by changing his email address, so this kind of template will go to his email inbox, right? So let's uh, try to uh, exploit this functionality. Since we confirmed that uh, whatever the injected uh, host input we are giving here, it is being reflected. That means. Uh, whatever the host i am giving the reset link will be formed based on that host and it will directly send to victim email address so that is confirmed so host header injection is confirmed here so i want to exploit this vulnerability in such a way that uh, i want to uh, take over some victims uh, account how to do that let's see okay uh, let me go here let me turn on the intercept okay forget password so i will forward this request here i want to uh, take over the account of actually uh, some one two three at gmail.com i clicked on this so it is the request here i want to do the host header injection I want to simply paste uh, my collaborator here URL here this one okay so whenever I click on forward some uh, email reset link will send to victim email address for example I clicked on forward see this template will go to victim email inbox so whenever he is clicking on this link by opening the email then 
then immediately I will get his reset token, right? See, I'm getting his reset token, right? So I simply got, I simply I have stolen his reset uh, token. If I have this reset token, I can simply change his password, right? When we explore the functionality we have seen, right, there is a request like this. Uh, once we set the new password, uh, the new password and confirmed password, we have to pass this reset token. So we'll simply utilize, utilize this. Here, I want to repeat this request. Here, I will uh, use the reset token of uh, Akshit email address. Here I will give my password. Password123. Password123. Since I got his uh, reset token, I'm able to reset his password and uh, so that I can able to use his account. See, success. Your password has been reset successfully. Since I'm able to reset the victim password, I can able to utilize his account I can use his account completely so that I can achieve account takeover here in this way we can do host header injection to gain account takeover now let's deep dive into the code base why it is being happened what is the root cause for this vulnerability see if you see this route it is the vulnerable code so whenever end user is uh, hitting this post request in the uh, business logic what we have written we are taking the host name from request headers host so for example if you see this request or trail and this reset credentials yeah in this request from the host header we are taking this input value so here we are taking the user input from the host header and we are not doing any kind of uh, input validation whether it is matched with uh, the real host which is called as localhost 3000 instead of uh, doing input validation we are directly appending whatever the user input is being sent so and we are forming reset link that is the blunder here that is the flaw here in order to mitigate this vulnerability either you can do input validation after you receive the host header that is one approach or else you can directly eliminate this step and directly place localhost 3000 as a host name because this is static one so yeah so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video